Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims Lore. Today we're looking at one of Riverview's mysteries, more specifically the Jones household. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Alright, let's get straight into the video. Let's firstly have a look at the town of Riverview. At first glance, Riverview seems like a quiet countryside town filled with beautiful pastures, farms and greenery. The description reads, Along the banks of the Samomon River lies the sleepy town of Riverview. Many have moved to this serene little town to escape the clamor of city life. Will the current residents let the newcomers in on the town's little secrets, or will they do their best to keep their dirt from being unearthed? So what secrets is the description referring to? Well, a few well-known Sims from The Sims 2 return in The Sims 3 Riverview, such as Don Lothario, the Broke family, and the newbies. There are lots of mysteries surrounding pretty much all of the families in this town, but in this video we'll be focusing on one of them, which is the haunting of the creepy Remington Mansion. So let's have a look at Hannah and her husband Aiden, who are the only living inhabitants. The household bio reads, when the Jones family inherited the Remington estate from Hannah's cousins, they imagined a beautiful vista and the quaint little town. They didn't imagine that they would be seeing specters. Can they find a way to restore the restless ghosts? Like the bio says, Hannah inherited the mansion from her family, however they quickly came to realize it's haunted. Buried on the property are Hannah's aunt Eileen, who died of starvation, and her cousin's teen Cody, who died in a fire, and child Kirsten, who drowned. Hannah's uncle Jasper is a bit harder to find in this maze of a house. His body was cremated and his remains rest in an urn. The urn is placed next to the TV in his former bedroom. The bedroom is in this weird looking tower on the side of the house which can be accessed through this bridge. Many speculate that he died fixing the TV as his ghost's color indicates he died of electrocution. The ghosts of Hannah's family members come out every other night and start possessing things in the house or scaring Sims around the lot. Although most of her family members are buried on the lot, Hannah's mother Lydia isn't. She's buried in the Old Town Cemetery and she died by drowning. Many speculate that Hannah was adopted as there is no father present in the family tree. However, some say that if Hannah has a biological child, it will sometimes have some of Lydia's features or traits. Let's have a quick look at Hannah's relatives. When we look in the family tree, we can see her uncle Jasper used to be neat, a hopeless romantic, a bookworm, insane, and good. Her cousin Cody was a snob, a heavy sleeper, handy, and good. Her cousin Kirsten used to be ambitious, a bookworm, and a slob. And Hannah's mom Lydia used to be a vegetarian, had a green thumb, a natural cook, a technophobe, and handy. Interestingly, Hannah didn't seem to know her aunt Eileen that well as only two of her traits, ambitious and friendly, are known to her. So let's have a closer look at Hannah. Her bio reads, Hannah Jones wanted to begin her family in a place where family tradition meant something, but she didn't think she'd have so many family members living so close. Hannah's a young adult working as an automated spell checker in the journalism career and she is flirty, a vegetarian, good, family oriented and easily impressed. Her favorites are classical music, fruit parfait and the color spice brown and her lifetime wish is to be surrounded by family. Hannah has one skill point in cooking and painting and two in writing. Interestingly, to have been promoted to automated spell checker, she should have had four skill points in writing, but she only has two. Hannah also has a very high relationship with her husband at the start of the game. Interestingly, Hannah has four apples in her inventory, which makes Sims fans speculate she wants boys. If you guys aren't familiar with this, basically in The Sims 3, if you have your Sim eat apples before they're visibly pregnant, they have a higher chance of giving birth to a boy, and if they eat watermelons, there's more chances to birth a girl. This is all speculation though, so it could easily mean she's just carrying around a snack. Okay, now onto her husband Aiden. His bio reads, Aiden Jones thought moving to Riverview might be stressful. Will Aiden be able to relax in a house full of restless ghosts? 
Aiden is a young adult working as a lab tech in the science career and he is a couch potato, a natural cook, frugal, easily impressed and friendly. His favourites are Latin music, key lime pie and the colour blue and his lifetime wish is to become a chess legend. Aiden has two skill points in gardening and much like Hannah's job and skill, he needed five to be promoted to lab tech. Other than having a great relationship with his wife, Aiden is also friends with his boss Meadow Carpenter Rhodes, so from this we can speculate that even though he didn't have the required skill level, he might have gotten the position of lab tech by being friends with his boss. Some also speculate that Aiden might be related to Janine Jones, a deceased adult sim resting in the Old Town Cemetery. They don't share any traits or favourites, which leads many to believe that they might have been married as they share a surname. So let's take a look at their mansion. The layout seems very confusing. Some rooms don't seem to serve any purpose. On the second floor, there's a balcony that you can't access and in the dining room on the first floor, the windows are in front of a wallpapered wall. There's also this room that contains the chimneys of the fireplaces in the dining, living room and balcony, but for some reason there's a lounge chair in there? What's that doing there? Is that where Cody died? Why is there a fireplace on the balcony? Some people speculate that the family and mansion is based on the real-life Winchester mansion. Winchester and Remington are both popular firearm companies. So let's have a look at this theory. The Winchester mansion belonged to Sarah and William Wirt Winchester, the firearm company's treasurer. The mansion is located in San Jose, California and is said to be inhabited by the ghosts of those killed by Winchester firearms. When William Winchester passed away due to tuberculosis in 1881, his wife Sarah inherited his fortune. After her infant daughter died, she consulted a medium that told her to move and build a house for her and the restless ghosts of the Winchester rifle victims. The Winchester house has doors that lead nowhere, 17 chimneys, and even decoy bathrooms to confuse the spirits. So what do you guys think happened to the Remingtons? How come they all died in different ways? Do you guys think they're based off of the Winchester mystery? I find it interesting that Aidan has ginger hair and is probably of Irish and Welsh descent considering his name, but also that Hannah's aunt Eileen has ginger hair and seems to be of Irish descent. I guess Hannah and Jasper really have a type, huh? It would really make sense if they were based off of the Winchesters because of their second name and their weird house. However, I do think that there's something bigger than this family going on in this town, so definitely stay tuned for the next episode of the Riverview Secrets. Alright guys, there you have it. Lots of info on the Jones family from Riverview. I'd like to thank my patrons Olivia McSwain, Negative Dana, Papa Khan, Leo Thompson, Artsy Flashback, Nathan Lim, and Caitlin Luigi. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. That's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know your theories in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter for more lore and updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!